Hey guys, so I am going to teach you a really easy way to remember the circle of Willis. On most of your board exams, you're going to have at least one question about the vascularization of the brain and the brain stem, and so this is a really easy way to remember it. Just watch this video a couple times and you'll nail all of them on test day. So if we're trying to remember the circle of Willis, the thing we're going to use to remember that is Willis, our little man. So we'll draw his head, his body, and his legs. He's got little feet here, he has arms, and then of course he has eyes. And since he's in med school, like most people, he has glasses. He also has two little hairs, only two, because he's stressed out like most people in med school. So the other thing about Willis is that his head, his trunk, and his legs are all going to be separated by another line. So we got them all compartmentalized, and then the last thing we need is little buttons. And I promise that that's the hardest part after you get that written out. Now we just have to fill him in. So we have first the anterior cerebral artery. And then all of this is going to be the same on both sides. Um, and then that is connected by the anterior communicating artery. So not too hard there. Um, Moving down, we have the eyes, or the ICA, or the internal carotid artery. Those give rise to the middle cerebral artery. And, um, and then, of course, if we have the anterior middle, we'll have the posterior cerebral artery that is connected by the posterior communicating artery. So we got his head filled out already. We have anterior middle cerebral anterior, middle, posterior, cerebral arteries, and then we only have two communicating arteries, anterior and posterior, and then definitely important to remember that the MCA comes off the internal carotid artery because that is a test question that they like to ask a lot. So as we're moving more distally now, kind of now into the brain stem, we have the superior cerebellar artery. So if you think that the cerebellum is kind of right under the brain, it makes sense that the superior will be the one that's highest. And then if we have superior cerebellar arteries, that means we have to have an inferior cerebellar artery. Only thing about the inferior cerebellar artery is that we have an anterior um, inferior cerebellar artery as well as a posterior inferior cerebellar artery. So that we got the aica and the pica down here. And then we also have um, coming off those little buttons are the pontine arteries since we gotta give um, blood to the pons in the brainstem as well. Both the, pus the superior cerebellar and the pontine arteries come off the basilar artery. So this whole thing right here is the basilar artery. That's another question that they really like to test. And then the last couple of things we have to fill out, we already have um, the inferior cerebellar arteries. And so here, continuing down both sides, we have the vertebral arteries. And then, the last thing we'll draw in is that, which is zipper to his pants, however you want to remember it. That would be the anterior spinal artery coming off of those vertebral arteries, and then that goes down the spinal cord. So just to review, we have your anterior, middle, and posterior cerebral arteries. Those are all connected by your anterior communicating arteries and then your posterior communicating artery. Don't forget that that MCA comes off of the ICA. Moving more distally, we have the basilar artery for which the superior cerebellar artery and the pontine arteries come off. And then if we have the superior cerebellar, we have to have the inferior cerebellar. That is from the anterior side, anterior inferior cerebral artery, and then we also have a posterior inferior cerebral artery that comes off of the vertebral arteries. And then what also comes off of the vertebral arteries is that anterior spinal artery that runs down the spinal cord. So next time that you have a circle of Willis question, just draw out your little Willis and you should get all the questions right. Good luck.